Hey what's up guys, Pro here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So today we're back on Clash Royale, I'm actually going to be using this deck right here today. I've played many games with it before, so I think I now know how to actually use it, and hopefully I can actually win some ladder games using it today. So feel free to copy it, like I mentioned it is right here, and let's just jump into a game or two, and we'll see how we do. Alright guys, here we go, game number one, let's see if we can win, hopefully we can, we are against this individual right here. Hopefully we can win, I really hope we can, so... Let's see, so we'll just go Goblin Gang at the back, like you know, if you've seen my videos before, I will just deploy right away, because what's the point of sitting around for 20 minutes when literally nothing's going to happen? So, we'll go in with the Golden Barrel on the left hand side, I do expect a spell, maybe the opponent isn't there, I'm not entirely too sure. We'll just go Baby Dragon at the back right now, I think the enemy might not be there, the opponent, okay, maybe he is. He has a golem, so what we'll do is we will go with the Tesla right now. I do expect him to have a lightning spell, so we just need to keep that in mind. But if he potentially does, of course. So what we'll do is we will go in with the knight over here. The reason for the knight is to pull the baby dragon in range of the Tesla. Apparently it isn't because it didn't work. And we'll just go ahead and fireball the bomber right there just to keep the knight alive. And then we do see the goblin, the mini packer. We'll just go in with the Goblin Gang right now for the Mini Packer, and hopefully I have the Mega Knight ready. In fact, we don't actually need the Mega Knight, because the Knight did get knocked back by the Golem, and the Knight, of course, went for the Mini Packer due to the knockback. So, pretty good stuff. We'll go in with another Barrel right here. We're pretty much just going to, like, try and keep the pressure up right now, and hopefully we can actually do that quite successfully. So, we get some good damage. If it sounds like my voice is gone, it kind of is for some reason. No idea to why, but yeah, whatever. And then we'll just go over here with the knight. Pretty poor knight, actually. And th yeah, that knight was very bad. Hopefully the bat doesn't kill me. Good. So we didn't lose the baby dragon to the bat. That's pretty good. And now what we'll do is we'll just wait a moment. I'm ready to go with Tesla again. And that should be another defense for the mega minion. So mega minion won't really be any threat at all. Especially since it already took some damage from the baby dragon. I'm just going to go with the high goblin gang anyway. I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. But yeah, still good because... Oh no, please fireball, get there fireball, 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 perfect. So the fireball got there in time, he thought the goblins were going to die to the the bomber right there, and sadly for him that wasn't the case. So what we'll do is we'll go in with the knight again, I do have my arrows ready this time, and hopefully we can just defend everything perfectly again, so that would be pretty cool if we can. Absolutely zero damage taken. I don't even think I've got Mega Knight once yet. I'm just going to go ahead and fireball everything. I know it's a bit overkill, but why not? We're winning. May as well do it. The elixir is there. It makes sense. And yeah, we're just going with the Mega Knight over here. He's already used the bomber. Maybe he is still playing. I thought he was going to potentially have quit, but it looks like he's still actually here. So we'll just go with Tesla over here for the banter. And if that's even what people say anymore, I have no idea. But whatever, we said it. I said it. <laughs> So yeah, this game is pretty much all over right now with one second remaining, and that's going to be the game. So game number one was very successful, we'll hit him with a good game, let's jump into game number two. Alright guys, here we go, game number two right now, let's see what we can do, hopefully we can keep this winning streak going right now, and hopefully we can, so let's see, we'll just go Goblin Gang at the back again, similar to last time, because of course it did actually work pretty well for us, and he's actually got the same as well, so he's going to go Goblin Gang as well, at the back, behind his King Tower, literally the same side that I put mine on, so... Copy my place, I see. I do see. So what we'll do is we'll just wait a moment. He does have the Executioner. I'm just going to go with Tesla because why not? And the Tesla should actually kill the Valkyrie and then pretty much kill the Executioner as well. Unless he does actually decide to go with anything else. So we'll use the arrows on defense. No damage taken. And then we'll just allow the Tesla to do its own thing against the Executioner right there. I do have a feeling he's going to have a spell. So I've actually deployed the Goblin Barrel like a Tyler 2 backwards, if he goes log you'll miss it. Nope, he's got the arrows, and that worked out pretty well for him. So, he, yeah, he did get pretty lucky with the arrows and rotation, but you guess I could say the same thing. And we'll just go Goblin Gang, he does actually have the P.E.K.K.A., and of course that changes everything. So I'm glad I didn't really go Mega Knight at the bridge, I wouldn't do that anyway, but yeah, I'm just glad I didn't. So, we've got the Baby Dragon, the Firecracker is right there. I actually missed the arrows. No, I didn't. Good stuff. And yeah, he'll probably go Goblin Barrel. I will just go with a... Oh, I don't even know. What shall we do? Do we Fireball? Do we Fireball? I, d I don't know. I don't really know. 
I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, what I'm going to do is we're just going to fireball. I missed one, I think. Pretty That was a bad play. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that was a trash play, actually. We're going to go with a... Bit of a... Okay, never mind. I do want to try and, like, do a troll goblin barrel just to see if we can, like, troll him, I guess. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really think we're going to have much success from it. I don't really... My voice sounds so weird to me. I'm sure it sounds, like, normal on video, but I don't know. It just doesn't sound right at all, but whatever. So we see the arrows again, because they're arrows. The whole world uses them. If you're not using arrows, I don't know. Why aren't you? But anyway, we'll just go over here. I'm just going to Mega Knight this time. We do, in fact, see the Goblin Barrel again. We've literally got zero damage, so we're not really doing too well. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's not that bad, because... Yeah, I thought it was going to go like Valkyrie in front of the tower for a moment, or the Executioner behind it. So that was the reason for that right there. But it still worked out okay. He's already back to Barrel, which is kind of bad for us, but... Whatever. At least I think he is. Nope, apparently he isn't. He does have Tesla as well. So we've pretty much like got similar decks, in a way. He has Mega Knight, I have Pekka. We are going to Fireball to Firecracker right there. We'll take the value when we see it. And now uh, what we'll do is we'll just keep like sending the Goblin Barrels in right now. I'm just going to save arrows at every part of the game because we do need them. We definitely do need them. So we'll just go with a Tesla right here. We will just arrow spell again. We do actually manage to get some good damage right there while defensive. Like, yeah, he, okay. We defended okay. We did get a bit of tower damage on the attack as well. And now, as long as the executioner doesn't hit the tower, we should be okay. He's like double defending everything as well, it seems. So. I don't really know how we're going to win this one, unless we keep like, I don't know, spamming <laughs> goblin barrels I guess, but we'll give it a try. Because I can't really go Mega Knight, because he does have the, the Pekka, and now, I, I don't really know. As long as we can keep Arrow in everything, we should be okay. Right, we are getting a little bit of damage each time, so every little bit of damage does of course stack up at the end, so... I don't know, we'll just have to see. That one goblin better not attack my tower. Fortunately for me, it did not. We will go with a... Yeah, we're going with the knight right now. I'm going to fireball the firecracker again. Every every time he deploys the firecracker, it's just going to get fireballed. We will arrow the goblin barrel right there. And if you've actually noticed right now, we do actually have the advantage. So we are now winning this game right here. Hopefully we can keep this up. We are doing somewhat okay right now. It's just the, the only concern really is the arrows not being in rotation, which they weren't actually right there. And now sadly we are losing. And that wasn't good. Yeah, that was pretty poor actually. But if the firecracker keeps getting, getting knocked backwards, I'm just going to fireball the tower. I think that was pretty decent in terms of like opportunity wise. And now we, I don't even know. I just need to keep arrow in the barrel right here. If I can get one more fireball out, I should be able to win the game. Come on, he can't get any tower damage. Right, the fireball's down. Everything's distracted, and now we'll win the game. So, not really the most, like, intense game. We won because of the, the way the game now works, but, yeah. We fireballed, and the fireball actually won us the game. So, if we didn't fireball, or if we didn't have the fireball, we would have lost. That would have been a loss. So, I don't know. We'll take it. A win is a win. Let's jump into game number three. All right, guys, here we go. Game number three right now. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can keep this winning streak going. So we'll go with the Tesla over here. We've got the baby dragon down already. We should hopefully be able to defend pretty well right there. The Tesla did of course save us. He's going to send out the Dark Prince Cry and emote. And the baby dragon is actually going to meet the opposition's baby dragon as well. So not really any damage from us, but we've not actually taken any either. So what we'll do is we'll go in with the knight right now. The knight will of course eliminate the baby dragon because the arena tower will snipe it. And that's pretty good. So what we'll do next is we will just... Go Goblin Gang in the middle. We'll put it a bit to the left hand side. We do see the Mega Knight, but we do have our own Mega Knight. And he's got the Inferno Dragon. So what we'll do is we'll go over here. And then we will... I don't even know. <laughs> well, I guess we'll fireball the units right there. Don't miss a bat, please. Thank you. All right, fortunately for me, I did actually hit all the bats. And that should now be okay. The, baby, the Inferno Dragon will get eliminated. That's not really... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Like, are you serious? Are you kidding me? Okay, fair enough. I didn't expect it. Well, I mean, I should have done, but... Yeah, I didn't, so... I prepared. Fail, or whatever the saying is. 
you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. I don't even know. But yeah, I should have got hovered arrows or done something else, but I didn't, so... I don't really know. I don't really know. So, we'll go into the barrel. Hopefully, he doesn't have any, like, spells for it. He does have a zap, but that's not really going to... Okay, apparently it is. It only gets one shot off with a zap. That's pretty interesting, but whatever. So, what we'll do next is we will just regroup. We do now know what he does actually have. And hopefully we can still win. So, we'll just go with the gang at the bridge. Don't ask why. He does actually use that over there, which is... Oh, my word. Okay. Okay. We're facing one of these decks where it's just like loads of random splash cards with other random cards as well. So, I don't really know. We will just go over here. The dragon will, of course, get eliminated. <sighs> Why would he freeze that? Like, really? I wouldn't freeze, but whatever. Yeah, I, I don't know about this one. This one's just one of those, like, random decks where you don't really know what you're facing. He did, like, yeah. Hmm. He's used Zap. So, as long as I don't, like, get hit by the Valkyrie right here, we should be okay. Hopefully, he does not deploy it at the back. Perfect, he didn't. He does take the tower with the dragon. And yeah, the bats didn't work right there. So, I don't know. I could have played better. He literally got one entire tower from a, a free spell. I mean, I should have expected it, but I didn't. So, I don't really know. You win, you lose. It's part of the game. It's all a bit of fun. And yeah, the deck's really good. I'll put my like stats royale win ratio on it on the screen right now, if I remember. And yeah, you can see the deck's a lot of fun and it's really good. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Feel free to give it a try. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.